Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Cause and Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to set up an on-prems Active Directory Sync to Office 365. So now let's get started. First of all, I need to verify that the my vanity domain has been added to Office 365. I'm here in Office 365. I want to go into uh, domains under setups. I want to go to setups and then domains. So domain I'm going to use is Office 365 or uh, o365tube.com. This is the first step. The second step is I want to add the domain to my on-premise Active Directory. I want to click on Tools, go to Active Directory Site and Service. I'm sorry, go to Active Directory Domains and Trust. Click on the very top and go to Properties. I need to add an alternative UPN suffix here. So it's 0365tube.com. Click on Add and then Apply. Click OK. I can close this out. Now let's go into my Active, Active Directory Users and Groups. The Users and Group I'm going to sing is under 0365 here. Users, I have three users here. I want to make sure my user are the, the UPN or the um, primary SMTP is routable. So you want to double click on it and go to accounts you want to make sure you choose the routable domain office 365 0365.2.com click apply click ok you got to do this for all of your users account 0365 again click ok so the user has been fixed. Now I'm going to download AD Connect tools. All you have to do is just type in download AD Connect. So it should be at the very top here. Download Microsoft Azure Active Directory Connect. Click on download. So it is downloading. We're almost complete. 34 seconds to go. All right, let's refresh. So the file has been downloaded, so I'm going to double click and install. Let me close this out. <clears throat> click yes to confirm. Click yes. Check the box. Agree to license. Continue. 
I'm going to choose the customize. If you choose user use express settings, it's going to sync everything from your on-prem's Active Directory. It doesn't give you an options to customize it. I'm going to click customize. Specify a custom installation location. Um, you can put in a different folder if you want. Use an existing SQL Server. If you have more than 100,000 objects in Active Directory, you must use the uh, SQL servers. Otherwise, um, if you have a really small environment, less than 100,000, it's going to use the MySQL server or SQL Express. Uh, let's see, use an existing account. I'm going to use my existing account. Specify, specify custom sync groups. If I want to sync only security groups, I can choose this options. I'm going to click on install. As you can see here, it's installing Microsoft SQL Server Express. All right, so here are some options you can choose. First one is password hash sync. The, what it does, it's gonna sync your on-prem's password to Office 365, but it's all hash, it's very secure. And the second option is the path through authentications. Um, it's a second method. You, um, with this options, your password stays on-prem's what it does is install an agent on your server and it's the agent communicate with Azure Active Directory services. Federation with ADFS, if you have on-prems federation, you can choose this options. Uh, this option is also the password stay on-prems. Federation with ping federated, this is pretty new. Um, I have not used this options before. You can read more about it in here. Select this option if you want to enable single sign-on on corporate desktop users. If you want to enable single sign-on, you must select this option. Just say if you have an on-prem applications or you want users to be able to log on um, using single sign-on from the on-prem or joint computer joint active directory you can do that click next this is my domain admin account i'm sorry the office 365 ad, uh, global admin account let's see here so i have entered my global admin account I'm going to click next. It's connecting to Office 365 service. All right, so it has connected to Office 365 service. Now I can choose my on-prem Active Directory. Since I only have one Active Directory, I'm gonna click Add Active Directory. You can create a new AD account or use the, use the existing AD account. So as you can see here, um, it's recommended that you use the enterprise admin credentials.
oops, sorry. Um, I'm going to use the existing one. Hmm. I guess it wants me to you to create a new one, so let's do that. Let's create a new um, service account. All right, looks good. I'm gonna click next. As you can see here, um, the non writable domain is not added to Azure. And this one is the writable domain, it's verified. Select on prem's attribute to use the Azure attribute driven name. So I'm going to choose the default, use the principal name. That's how I want to use the login. And you, there are some um, non writable users account. You want to make sure you check this box. Continue without matching all UPN suffix. Click next. The domain and OU filtering. If you check the box here, I mean, if you choose the first option, it's going to sync everything, all users in your on-prem's Active Directory. So in this case, I'm going to select only OU that I want to select, that I want to sync which is O365. That's going to, I'm going to sync users and computers. Click next. Unique identified users is default. You can choose the default here. Next. Synchronization all user and devices. That's fine. Click next. And if you want to choose the synchronized selected groups here, you can just choose these options and provide the name of the group. Click next. So it's going to be password has sync. Exchange hybrid, since I don't have exchange in my on-premise environment, I'm going to, it doesn't give me these options. Exchange mail public folder, Azure AD apps attribute, I'm not using anything for right now. And if you want to read more about it, here's the link. Password write back. I'm going to do a password write back. This will allow user to reset their own password. Directory extension attribute sync. I will do this in the other video, the, the, new, um, the next video. Click next. Ready to configure it. Start synchronization process when complete. Click on install. All right, look like it's almost complete. All right, now it has been completed. I'm going to exit. And if I go to Office 365 portal, I should see, give it a few minutes. Um, I should be able to see my user sync. So the, the three user I sync is, the first one is Adam. Let's search for Adam. All right, it's not here yet. Let's give a few more minutes and we'll check back. All right, um, so as you can see here is Adam. And let's 
search for the second user which is Barbie. Here it is. And the third user is Chris. So that's it. As you can see, um, the password has sync uh, configuration has been sync and successfully sync. And if I look at directory sync errors, it's no errors. So that's it. Thank you for watching. And if you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe and have a wonderful day.